Sometimes life is messy. Have you ever wished you could refocus your mind, home, relationships, and work life? Join us as we use research-based information to make practical changes and simplify life. This is Life Simplified. Welcome back to Life Simplified. This month, we've been talking about the five languages of appreciation. So today, we're going to talk about another one of the uh, languages. We're going to talk about acts of service. Hello, ladies. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. I'm excited to dig in a little bit deeper. Yes. Um, All of our different topics that we've been talking about this month, you know, I have learned so much about all of the different languages that, and especially things that I thought they was that they definitely wasn't, you know, when it Mm -hmm. comes to the workplace. And so when I was researching and talking about uh, this this act of service, it was something else that I learned you know, that more about, and it wasn't what I thought it was either. So, so today we're going to be talking about the acts of service. And when I say that, what do you guys, what does that come to your mind as? So I will say for my husband in, in the love languages, acts of service is probably at the very top for him. And, and for him, what it means is it's me taking care of a task or doing something for him without having to be asked without having to be prompted and so you know if i have dinner ready for him it he considers it an act of service if i've folded a load of laundry that he's put in the dryer without him saying anything you know those things he feels like i've thought of him i've appreciated him and so i know clearly it would be a little bit different in the workplace but i'm thinking just like doing something for someone that you didn't have to do and maybe you weren't even asked to do it yeah that's that is one of the the things with it in that you know it's just doing things for somebody one of your colleagues that needs you know help out you know showing them that you care through actions rather than just words and you know you may see somebody struggling you know and just going and saying hey can i help you you know is an act of service have you had anybody ever do an act of service for yourself in the workplace I can think of a recent example. I can probably sit here and name a whole bunch, but I was in the middle school and we have a young lady who is volunteering in our office. And so she was coming in and helping me at the middle school and I turned around to get things prepped for the next class and everything was already done. I didn't have to measure out the ingredients and put them on the trays. It was already done for me. And thinking about that as a form of appreciation, that's not what I thought at that moment. But when you said, has anybody ever done something like that for you? I thought, yes. And how amazing it was to turn around and that was already done. And then I could name all kinds of things that when Joni and I were in the same office, things that would get done without me even having to say, hey, can you help me with this? She would just immediately dive in and help me, especially in food preparation classes. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I actually have a really recent example of this as well. Just last week, I had a really big event. Um, It was an annual luncheon event that we have every year for our homemakers in my county. And it's a big task. I mean, it's a full-on meal, speaker, entertainment. It it has a lot of moving parts. And I have a coworker that I collaborate a lot with in the office, but he wasn't a part of this. He didn't have to be there. He, he wasn't part of this um, particular event. But that morning, as I was prepping and getting ready, he sent me a text and said, I'm on my way to the office. If you need anything, let me know. I'll stop it and grab it. And then when he got to the office, he came back to where the event was. He took it upon himself to walk around and take pictures of the event the whole day and make sure that um, each of the clubs that was represented there had a photograph of their group, that the presenters were taken, taken care of, and there was photographs of them. And then he even took those photographs and had them printed at a a local place and had enough so that every member could get a copy of their 
group's picture and brought them back to me and sorted them out for me and then made sure that our staff assistant had those photographs so they could be posted on social media and wow <laughs> like I had not asked him to do any of those things but he knew that that was something that I would appreciate and my homemakers would appreciate and it would help the day go smoother for me and so he just did that without me asking and while my day could have gone on without those things it just made it that much nicer it was like I'm not on my own here I have someone that's got my back and so that was a huge act of service because he didn't have to but he did yeah, access services, you know, is about somebody going out of their way when they didn't have to, you know, that it's truly meaningful for helping you and whatever that challenge may be. So there were great examples of what you guys just talked about. How did you feel, though, after, you know, they'd done that for you? Did you feel sad, happy? Did you feel like mad because they did that? Or just was you just like so over, you know, so excited about it? I, d I guess not that I couldn't believe it, but it was just like, whoa, something was just taken off my plate yeah. that in, in such a, a day that is full of rushing and mm -hmm. making sure that everything is ready because you've got five minutes in between class and you want to make sure that you're giving your full attention during the class before it. And then now you're rushing to get ready for the next class. And I was just, I was definitely not mad about it. <laughs> so I was just so appreciative and at, at the time, I didn't really think like, oh, that that's showing me appreciation. But I, I felt appreciation for this person doing that. And when Tiffany was telling her story, I was like, oh, I appreciate that so much. And it wasn't yeah. even my event. <laughs> I was like, that's amazing yeah. taking pictures because that's one of the mm -hmm. big things. In, in our line of work, we're, we're always doing something and we're never taking the picture. Absolutely. And I think, you know, it, w it was one of those moments and I think it means even more to me now looking back on it because you're so in the middle of the task at hand and there's so much going on and juggling all the things. And I think the word that just came to me is like, it helped clear some of the mental load. It was just something that I didn't have to think about. How is this going to get done? It was just done for me and it was done well. And it was just nice. It, it did feel like a gift. Most definitely, you know, they're taking, you know, that burden off from you and they don't expect anything in return. They're doing it to help you, you know, that way mm -hmm. you don't have that mental stress of whatever, you know, is going on. Sometimes, you know, we just forget that people truly are doing things to help us. You know, sometimes we feel people may do something, you know, some type of act of service and we may get, you know, upset about it, too. But that is not truly the case. You know, they're they are doing it because they're truly trying to help you and, you know, and make things better for you instead of harm you, even though you may think that they're doing this to get recognition for themselves. So I just wanted to kind of throw that out there that most of the time when somebody does things for you, it is truly to help you and not to have recognition for themselves. And I think we all know that for me, asking for help has been something that has been really hard for me. I think I've mentioned that once or twice or 17 times. But when somebody just does go out of their way to help, even if it was, wasn't something that you asked for, because it's probably not something that I'm going to ask for unless I just physically cannot do it. So just... Yeah, I think in our line of work, we're worried that we're going to burden someone else because we are all so busy mm -hmm. with big events and projects and deadlines that even if we know we could use a little assistance, we don't want to put anybody else out. And so when someone can step up and offer that help without you having to ask it, you feel the freedom to be like, OK, I can accept this because hopefully they wouldn't offer that if it was something they could not do or it would put them in a bind. Oh, absolutely. Mine's the same exact way. You know, I do not want to burden anybody with anything that's going on. If I've got a big project in that, because I know everybody else also has mm -hmm. other things going on, too. So it's hard for me to ask for that help or accept that help, too, because I don't want to burden them. Sometimes people just want to help us uh, knowing that you need that help. It's okay to accept that help and having that active service is tremendous in our line of work as well. 
sometimes we would we just need to sit back and say thank you Mm -hmm. you know be appreciative for them stepping in you know when they didn't have to and say thank you there is five things that we need to remember when we want to help with others with the act of um, of service. Number one, always remember to make sure all your own stuff is getting done first. Don't step into somebody else's project or whatever is going on if you don't have your stuff done. Because what's going to happen is we're going to make ourselves behind on the things that we need to get done so make sure you know if you are going to do an act of service that you're not putting yourself in a bond as well I think that's really important to point out and I have been working on for the last it seems like a really long time but for probably the last month or two really doing a reset so that instead of when somebody asks how you are that I don't say well I'm super busy and don't have time to do any of the things that I would like to do so I've been trying to do that so that then I can show appreciation in those ways because I haven't just piled everything on to where I feel like I can't help someone else yeah and and looking at it from another direction too you know if you are stepping up for other people but you're not getting your own things done you may become resentful of them and and you want to do this as a good thing as a positive for both them and yourself and if it harms you um and it then in turn harms the relationship you have with that coworker, then it's defeated the purpose Another thing that we also need to remember is ask before you help, you know, don't just step into that person's big project or whatever, you know, that you want to do to help them. Always ask them before, you know, you step into that. I know personally myself, you know, I like things a certain way. So other people like things a certain way as well. And just asking, okay, Ashley, how do you want this done? Can I help you? How, how do you want this done? Is part of that act of service. Just don't jump in there and start doing your thing because it's not your thing. You're there to help them. You are, you know, if you want to do this for them, then you need to do it the way that they want you to do it. I think that's huge because I have seen in action coworkers who I think probably really mean well and want to help, but it's easy to accidentally step on toes when you want to help somebody in this way. Everybody comes from it at a different angle. And I think we've learned from other episodes this this month that we tend to show appreciation how we want to be shown appreciation. And so if you like people to step up and help, And so you're quick to just be like, I'm going to do that thing for you, but I'm not asking, I'm not checking, I'm not making sure it's helping in a way that is actually feeling helpful, then I can kind of mess up and it can be taken in a negative light and I can step on toes and I can cross boundaries. And so I think I, I love that this is in here that, yeah, do the thing. But ask, don't just step in and and do it and be like, look at me, I did the thing. Is it something that's helpful or maybe there's some other way you can help them that will feel more encouraging and more appreciative to them? And I love how you said to do it their way, the way that they you're asking how you can help. And then you're going to follow that up with how do you want it done? And I just thought that that was That was awesome because you're right. You like things a certain way. I like things a certain way. We all have our own way of doing things. And I know myself, I can come in and while I want to be helpful, I really do take that step back and say, what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. Because I know myself and I know that I can jump in there and then just do something without meaning to I don't mean to just jump in there and take something over but I know that I can do that because I I want to be helpful so I I love that point yeah it's a good reminder to to kind of check that to make sure like I'm helping to help them not to do it my way Mm-hmm. That's right. You know, an act of service, what you're doing is, is to benefit that person, not yourself. So just making sure that you are asking them how so you can because your whole point of being, you know, doing that service is to benefit them. So just make sure you ask them how they want it. 
So another one is check your attitude. It's important, you know, to approach things in a positive and also a caring attitude. If you're going to go into a project or whatever is going on with that, the person that you're wanting to help with a very bad attitude, why are you doing it then? You know, if you are not doing it to help them to take that stress load off, but then you're going into doing this with a really bad attitude, why are you even doing it? So make sure you check your attitude, your actions of how you are coming into whatever you're going to help them with. Yeah, I think your motives matter too. And that, that's going to lend itself to your attitude. What are you trying to accomplish? If you're truly trying to help your coworker succeed and take off some of that stress to help them with a project, then that should be the focus. And, and we should do that, you know, happily because you're not being forced to that's right so we want to make sure that we're genuine in any effort that we have when it comes to far as the the acts of service the next one is complete what you started when somebody commits to doing something for a person or someone it's important to follow through and ensure that you finish what you started don't go into it and like okay what can i do to help you And then only do half of it because that truly is genuinely not helping that person. You're putting more stress onto that person than, you know, than you're truly trying to help. And that goes back to making sure that your things are done first. So if you don't really have the time to devote to helping that person, don't offer to help that person. Yeah, I think this is also why we're all so leery of asking for help because we've all been burned before we've all had a person say they were going to do something and then they didn't follow through and then it ends up being more work at a later date when it's even more stressful and so we don't want to do that you know the whole point is to alleviate the stress um, to be a help not a hindrance and so if you're gonna do it make sure you you do it and see it to completion Most definitely, you know, show responsibility, dedication, and also caring for your actions. Research shows that for some individuals, actions truly speak louder than than words when it comes to feeling valued and appreciated in the workplace, whether it's a small gesture like proofreading a report or, or a large act like assuming with a project deadline. Active service can have a meaningful impact on uh, morals and also our teamwork. Whatever you do, stay positive through it all. This is the key. If you offer to help, do it in a timely manner. I challenge you this week to do an act of service to someone who you appreciate because they're oftentimes don't get recognized for what they do for others. Just remember, don't provide help to anyone and expect anything in return. To wrap it up, let's remember that active service can vary widely from person to person, so it is essential to understand your colleagues professionally and also their boundaries when showing appreciation through actions. Stay tuned for our next episode where we explore another language of appreciation. The resources will be available in our show notes. Remember, a small act of kindness can make a big difference. Until next time, this is Life Simplified. Thanks for listening to Life Simplified. We are family and consumer sciences agents with the University of Kentucky Cooperative Extension Service. Contact us at lifesimplifiedpodcast at gmail.com.